Hey guys, uh, I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but this one I wanted to make for a while because it's actually really important for me and any other laptop owner that has this specific laptop. It is the Asus GL753DE. It's my case the 15 inch, the one with the 1050Ti, they're new, mo new models. Uh, the problem with this laptop that many of us have reported is we either ha get a black screen where we don't get any um, video anymore. Uh, my case was originally was a BIOS update that after the BIOS update I did it on its own I did not do it it was through the ASUS live software it did the BIOS update it didn't recognize the battery anymore so I already made the laptop and then took over a month because they didn't have apparently the part they needed which I mean I know that's impossible because it's a new laptop I would think they would have it and so yeah, I took a month I got it back and then during the whole week it was a week process that uh, I was testing it out, see if everything was working. It kept turning off every time I tried to play a video game, specifically Overwatch, because that's the one I play the most, and it will turn off. It turned off in, in like the first five minutes. The power just completely shut off. No power to the laptop. And I did have the power cord connected to it, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. I like maybe the temperature, but I had the burner and also the Asus uh, ROG Gaming Center um, software that comes to the laptop to see the temperatures. And they were all 70, 70, 73, that area. It, was, it wasn't high, so it was fine. But it kept turning off, and I couldn't figure out why, so I contacted ASUS, and I had an RMA for the second time. Now, it got here today this morning. Today is Saturday, uh, 27th. Uh, I, got it, I got it this morning. I tested As soon as I got it, I opened it up. I installed Overwatch. I played it. Boom. Turned off. And I couldn't figure out what the hell's going on because I mean it costs me to ship it every time it's like thirty dollars or whatever, so so but like it's annoying because I bought this laptop I haven't really used it it's brand new it's not working so what I you know I was there this morning I was just standing there, I was like what's going on like what am I doing so I figured like, they hit me that uh, that they're using the ASUS ROG uh, gaming center software and I could control the fan the fan speed and I had it at seventy percent seventy. In case I didn't say it right, so because I had it at seventy percent, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put it at auto. Problem with having it at auto is it'll have higher temps. I was like, you know what, I do it. So I put it in auto, and it was working fine. The temps were like in the eighties, eighty, eighty four. Eighty four was the highest I believe for the GPU. CPU was in the seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight. It was it was high. It was hot. So that's didn't want that. But I noticed that it wasn't turning off anymore. I tried Overwatch, it was fine. I tried on uh, Origin, I used Battlefield 1 as well. They didn't turn it off, it didn't cause me any problems. So, I, I'm assuming, and through all these tests I did, that it's the software. So this time I actually recorded uh, me uh, controlling the, the fan speed, using the, specifically that, uh, the SSROG Gaming Center. And I believe that's the issue. So what I did is, I originally recorded using 70%, because that was the issue this morning. But when I did 70%, it was fine. Now know that I did buy a cooling pad today, and I guess because the laptop was lifted, it had more cooling. I don't know if that's gonna affect it or not. Cause I mean, so let me explain more. So 70% didn't turn off. I increased it to 80%, and it turned off. Increased to 80%. I, I'll show you in the video. In the minute, boom, turned off. So I'm assuming it's the software. And I bought the cooling pad because I'm like, if I have the software in auto. It'll be hot, but with a cooling pad, it'll, you know, it'll hopefully help out, which I didn't really see it helping out, because the way, I mean, have you guys seen how anybody opened the actual laptop? The actual fan is covered by the, the bottom casing, so it's like, the air doesn't really, because the openings for the fan part are more to the other side, so I'm not sure how the air even goes in through there. Of course, I'm not the one that created it, so they probably know, but I'm, from the point of this video is I'm hoping that the ASUS people, they see this video because I actually did send it to somebody through Facebook because they contacted me on Facebook for my original RMA and I actually sent it just like uh, 30 minutes ago. I sent them a message, I sent them the video that I made and hopefully they see it. If not, hopefully they see this video or I also tweeted them and they can contact me and I'll send the video gladly so they can see what's going on. But I'm, I'm, I made this video for you guys and anybody else that bought this laptop so they have, I mean we have proof now was possibly costing it. Now another thing is, originally when I bought this laptop, I loved it. I recommended it to everybody, but now, I do not recommend it at all. 
Now, if you don't believe what I'm saying, go to Amazon. Look at the reviews from many, many people who are all having the same issue. My case was the pile of that screwed me over the most. Other people had the same issue. And then the, the black screen people were reporting. Just look at the re reviews. Again, I don't recommend this laptop, honestly, because of all the issues we've had. But it's up to you. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Sadly, I mean, it's because of all the issues I had. I, I bought it. It's brand new. I hardly had a chance to play it because of these issues. So I'm hoping Asus or you know somebody with Asus that sees this video or the original video that I made and figure out what's going on. And I'm pretty sure it has to be the software or something's going on with the, the laptop that when it hit 80%, I mean, it could be a power issue where like 80% is too much power that it's not, not be able to get it. I do have the power cord plugged in the entire time. So I mean, honestly, because I don't know the laptop, like how they made it, I can't really say for sure, but hopefully they see this video. Ah, it's very <laughs> hopefully they see the video and they and they could. So. All right, uh, right now I'm gonna show you guys the video that I made, so it's proof that you know what's going on. Thank you. All right, guys, here as you can see, I'm moving the fan speed to 80 percent. All right, I go back to Overwatch. I didn't admit the audio in game or my original recording because it was very low. So I'm just doing the uh, narration. So as you can see again, I have it at 80%. And it's working fine right now. Just in a few minutes or seconds, you'll see it will turn off. Now again, I'm not really sure what's costing it except for this. I mean, it's my only idea and my guess. It's an assumption pretty much. And I'm hoping leaving it on auto, like earlier, it won't cost me any other issues. At least for now, or some sort of update fixes it. It should be turning off in a few, any moment now. You'll see. And there you go, it turned off. I'm actually showing you guys, it actually turned off. That's the power light from the cable. As you can see right there on the left, I did have the power cord connected and it turned off. I unplugged the power cord, as you can see, plugged it back in. It was fully off. So that's because of the 80% uh, fan speed.